Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video of Olama. Until now, what I have been doing is creating the videos of Olama and using the models which are in the model section of Olama's website, right? So as you can see here also, if you are new to Olama, please go and install Olama. You can follow this video if you want to install it. But the problem here is that if you go to the Hugging Face website, there are 521,000 models, but in the Olama, there are not that many of the models, right? What if we want to take, let's say, one of the model from Hugging Face website and create our own model using Olama and use that to chat with documents or even create a simple, simple chat GPT like UI, right? The final goal of this video will be taking one of the model from Hugging Face website using Olama and replicating the create chat UI using Chainlit, Langchain, Olama and the model that we create by ourselves. Let's get started. This is the Olama's website and the prerequisite as I showed you before is you need to have Olama installed locally, right? First, make sure that you have Olama. For that, you can just type Olama and if it shows something like this, it is installed and make sure that it is also running in your machine to know if it is running or not you can just go to the local host and if you run the port 11434 and if it shows olama is running then we are good to go before creating our own model i first want to show you how to navigate or let's say what is the model file that is already present in the existing model so that you know the idea okay how to create the models right let me just go here and say olama list we have different models let us just go with the gemma model that i that i showed you in my last video right how to know what is inside that particular model you can just go here and run olama so and gemma to be which is the model that we have and by the way before that also i can just show you this and then i will show you help we know that okay it takes system uh, system meshes it takes the template there is the model file, so model file of the model. So we are creating the model using model file. So I just want to know what is in this already existing model, right? For that, what you can do is you can just go here, Gemma 2B, and then go here and run model file. This is the model file that is shown here. As you can see here, model file generated by Olama. So to build a new model file based on this one, replace the from line with, as you can see, here, it says, from and you can replace the model that you want to do and here as you can see it is showing my local local path where the model is is located and this is the template here is start up the tone user if system system in dot prompt end of the tone and then there is the start of the tone model and as you can see a response end of the tone right and there is the parameters stop when to stop and parameter stop when to start of the tone and when to end of the tone and this template depends upon different uh, models just to show you this is for gemma 2 right i also have the model mistral right i will just go here and i will say mistral and now these are the two different uh, things model file here is the path it is the same but the template it takes different template and this takes a different template and also the parameter is stop and parameter is stop it has different things remember that when you create a model you might need to provide different template uh, meshes and the parameter is stop might be also different. Now we know that what is in the model file itself. Now I am on the Hugging Face website and in the, the block, let's say the page, right? Because he has many models where uh, there is the GPTQ and GGUF file formats. I'm going to show you in this video about GGUF and if you are new to GGUF, Let's say on a higher level, this is the latest file format which holds all the information of the model. When you have the, let's say the LLMs, there are different weights associated with it and other different things, right? Because it contains a lot of information. But this GGUF is a file format which contains all the information and it's easier to use, let's say on a, on a higher level, right? And I will go inside this Capybara Hermes 2.5 Mistral 7B GGUF 
right for this uh, video demonstration so you can read all the informations here and there is also this prompt template we are going to use this template as you see in my in, in and here there are different gguf file formats the good thing for you is you need to check okay what is the quant uh, method what is the bits what's the size maximum ram requires and use cases based on your need right but I'm going to use the balanced one here so it's easier to use and it gives the balance uh, balance answer and you can see it requires 6.87 GB of RAM maximum RAM requirements what you can do is you can just go inside this and download this you can use any method how you can download this but I have already downloaded this model you can just click the download and it is going to uh, download right so now I will open my terminal so as you can see here in the desktop i have downloaded that i will do ls and this is the capybara 2.5 mistral 7bq4 i just downloaded now i need to create a model out of this gguf file format right for that we need to create a model file i'm going to create a model file in the vim here and i will paste all the necessary things so the first thing that we need is the from right we need this from and you need to provide the location location is in the desktop in the same folder i'm saying dot slash and the name of that particular gguf and what are the next things we need to provide are the parameters and the template right here i'm i'm also saying the parameter is stop i am start and the parameter is stop i am end and the template as it might be different for different and this template is exactly what it is mentioned in this website as you can see here the block has provided the chat ml prompt template you just copy this and uh, it's here so once this is done you just save the file in any editor you want and the model file is being created if to see if it is created or not cat model file so yeah all the necessary things are here now we can create a model giving our own name out of this existing model file how to do that you can just do olama create and you can give any name for example p model something like this enter so it is going to create that particular model for us so yeah it's already being created and now you can run this model how to run the model you can just say olama run and you need to provide this name here right just copy the name go here Control v enter and now you can have the conversation with this model same as how you used to do with other models i can just say here hi and yeah hello how can i assist you today so i will say here what is twitter and it is going to provide me what is twitter kind of things but the good part of this particular model is also that it understands the previous or let's say remembers the previous question that we asked for example here i said what is twitter and this can this might not be the case for all the models that you create but for this uh, capybara hermes it remembers the previous message now let's say the question we are i said here what is twitter and it provides the information about the twitter i can say can you say more about it just something and it says of course there is more information about twitter yeah that's great now we can run this in our terminal but what if we want to create a simple chat ui right for that as i said you before also we are going to use the same code of this create chat ui using chainlit langchain olama and gemma model but we can replace the gemma with the one that we created that's what i want to show you now i can just go here and say buy so that i can just go out of it this i will clear the screen and here i have that particular git repo being downloaded langchain gemma olama chain lead right so i will just say here olama list to copy the model my own copy model is the one that we created i will copy this and now I will go inside this line chain Gemma Olama chain lit. I will open this in uh, let's say VS Code. So code dot right, and it's easier for me to show you what we need to do. I'm not going to go through the code again because it was already being shown in my last video. But you can just go to this model part here, and now just replace this with the one that you created. That's it. You don't need to do any other things. And if you don't need these elements, because that is what I'm showing about the Gemma, right? You can just go here and just, let's say, delete this also. I will save this one. 
that's it so ls so this is the file that we need to run right so i will just say chain lead run langchain gemma olama.py just run this one it is saying loaded elb your app is going through this and yeah this is the simple looking chat ui i will say here hi so yeah you can see greetings as you can it's just providing the answer i can just say okay what is twitter again here so okay this is this zach dorsey all the different things 280 characters and it is providing the answer for us here right so yeah you can just go here and ask as many questions as you want that is how you can quickly create the model and use that to create a simple looking chat ui so yeah i hope now you can use different models which are in the hugging face website create your own model using the olama and just use that locally if there is anything else you want to know please ask in the comment section and other than that thank you for watching and see you in the next video